Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Invisible The Lost Kingdom. So I decided I'm going to be using Tiger Shark quite a bit on this episode because I've not really used him to be honest. Just on one episode really, so I want to use him a bit more. Looks like we're going to get Sapphira in a minute, but first of all, go over here, let these Z sparks. Should be able to get Tube Cabra's last move now. Just double check up here. Pretty sure we've gotten everything though. Yes, we have. So the last move for Chubacabra, Dive Bomb. Using his wings to launch himself into the air, Chubacabra can then target his devastating Dive Bomb attack. Everyone else is fully upgraded, I think. Let me just double check this guy. Yes. Yeah, so everyone else is fully upgraded. I don't think we have as many Z sparks as we usually have when we get a new invisible form, so I'm probably not going to be able to upgrade Sapphira fully. A Sapphira is indeed a most agile and speedy invisible, but this feline is cunning too. A Sapphira was discovered by a member of the Alliance on a trip to the vets with her dog Ruffles. My notes tell me that Ruffles sensed the presence of Sapphira, and the quick-thinking owner made a most valuable capture. Well done, Alliance member. Well done. <laughs> so it's going to be Chubacabra versus Sapphira, I think. Yes. Oh, she's not very ladylike, is she? That was a bit of a sly move. She's feral. She's gone native. Oh, she fights dirty, this girl. The human hero. You fight well, a true warrior. <laughs> well, uh, I don't seem to <laughs> have much choice in this world of yours. I've been hunting a raiding party of steels. Have they been here? Yes, we battled and I defeated one, but the rest escaped and collapsed the area behind them. Oh no. I need to get after them. Then let me give you my power, for then you will be able to pursue them. Thank you, Sapphira. You did fight dirty, though. This must be where the steels collapsed the area behind them. Time to test out Sapphira's skill and see if you can rebuild it. Sweet. Okay, so let's check out the moves. Spin attack. Holding out her arms and using her gymnastic skills to launch into a spin, Sapphira can unleash her mighty spin attack. Slicing spin. Sapphira can combine a gymnastic spin with a powerful slice from her claws. Double claw rip. With her deadly cat-like power, Sapphira can attack with both her claws in a fearsome double claw rip. Yeah. 
Guess I'll be using Sapphira now, since she's a new invisible. when we'll next see another dragon. That's another type of launch pad. If you stand on it as Chupacabra, it will fire you towards another pad. From there, you can keep being fired onwards in a chain. Oh! Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Can I go back up? Is this back the way we came? I think so, yes. Sweet! That was awesome! So many enemies. Whew. That was tense. I don't know what that way has to offer. Oh! Oh dear! That's another type of launch pad. If you stand on it as Chupacabra, it will fire you towards another pad. From there, you can keep being fired onwards in a chain. I'm going to have to take down these guys again now. Awesome, Doctor. <laughs> Oh, my 
maybe I will go over this way first. This time. That's a wall you should be able to climb. But there's a huge section that's fallen off. Maybe you can use Sapphira's power to rebuild it. I can indeed. Off then. Hill topper. Right, let's see where this leads first of all. Islands are too high even for you to jump to but they do seem to be equipped with artificial engines which means there must be some way to control them maybe there's a switch you can target that big yellow switch question though is why are there artificial engines on a floating island they're certainly not invisible to so how did they get here Right, okay, let's have a look this way. I still need to go back the other way though, where I died. Falling off the lift. So I do think this is actually the right way to go now, looking at this path. So I can see a door over there, so I'm wondering about doubling back now. While I can, while I'm not too far away. Which way is it? This way? I can't see. Camera angle's gone all squiffy. I died. Maybe I can't double back now because of the camera angle. Perhaps. I'm going to have to go forward, guys. Oh well, I've missed something. <laughs> but I can't do anything about it. The camera angle won't let me.
this way. Drop kick. Jumping sideways and supporting herself with one hand, Sephira is able to perform a powerful drop kick. That was crazy! Well, this episode's gone on for quite a long time, so I'm going to stop this episode here, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.